Try this, it's hot, sweetheart. Drink that. Oh, that tastes like crap. That's because I made it. But there's a lot of strong antibiotics in it. You need that right now with a little young ton of fire. Wound went right through, so there's no energy trapped up in there. I think you're going to be all right, and I'll be able to transfer you to the elephant in a couple of days. So what's your take on Sarah getting shot? I don't know, Johnny. I mean, I told her that she takes things too personally. I mean, you got to give her props, though. She didn't die. But maybe Kane's right. Maybe she's not dead because whoever shot her wasn't actually trying to kill her. Someone's gonna be held responsible. Sam and Sonny, come in. Go ahead, boss. All right, watch your six, man. Tonight's the night. You know they're coming for sure. You got it. Where am I? One of my safe houses. See, the deal of it is, the ghost is gonna come gunning for me now, which is what I wanted. I've still a little bit of a trap up here, and we're just waiting for them to come. Take out his team and force his hand. You remember what happened? Uh, I chased Salim to the location. I tried to take them down. It was like the guy was waiting for me. And then he went after Salim. I saw him fall, and I remember the silence, and I heard him hit the ground, and that's when I felt the shot. I bet you did. So what ended up happening is you witnessed some kind of a payout. The question is who was buying and who was paying. That's what I'm trying to figure out. <laughs> we got contact? Your contact, boss? Two confirmed east side adjacent building. They're going in. Here we go. Keep them out of the game. I got Sarah. Thank you.
Job's done. Pick it up. We're out of here in five. Smooth. I'm on my way. I'll be there in 20 minutes. I have to stop at the store and pick up some Maylocks. Yeah, you'd have an LC2 if you were me. Have a drink. I'll see you when I see you.
Madam, thanks a lot. So you're new here? A pleasure to see you again, Abdul. Mm -hmm. You spoil me too much. I have to keep coming back. Uh, I have a new goal for you today. Send her up. <laughs> minutes on the dot. You're a very prompt man. You know there's a saying, the prompt man is a lonely man. Is that what they say, Milan? What does that make you? Hmm? Uh -uh. Where's the problem? What is it, Hassan? You look a little twitchy. More than usual. I am concerned about Salim's murder and the events that led up to it. These people will be looking for us, don't you think? I told you who they are. Go ahead, stop them if you're worried. Funny you should mention that. I sent a team last night to ease my mind. These weren't ordinary men. They were Hashishin. Do you know what that means? No. Old school assassins. They should have walked away from a bloodbath. Instead, Cain wiped them out. And you wonder why I want my product. We need to do this now. I'd like to live. And I'd like to guarantee that this Cain isn't going to be a problem. We get one shot at this. We'll take care of Kane. You make the delivery. Any problem of mine is a problem of yours, Milan. Never forget that. I'll get your product tomorrow night. I have exactly 15 minutes, so I don't even bother taking your shoes off. Have a good time, huh? I'm still trying to locate Sarich. Yeah, naturally, you'll figure it out. How long has Sarich been offline? Tracking device went dead 72 hours ago. There's interference. That's because he's taking precautions. I can probably figure out a way around it. Take me a while. Well, there might be time to just go back to old-fashioned tracking, you know what I mean? Just like the Shadow Wolves. You worked with the wolves in the past, haven't you? I'm not talking just through ice, but through the people, the res. My dad was a Shadow Wolf. You probably knew him. And the one thing I learned from him is the unit hunts like a wolf pack. That's the way you operate, too. I want to be a part of it. Maybe I could work the field. When you're ready. And by the way, I went back and analyzed the tracking info for the Viking Moon. Another small boat left the ship after the women were smuggled into Vancouver. Not sure who or what was on the other boat, but hey, I was trying to do my part, right? You're doing good. How you feeling, girl? I'm good. I'm ready. Find out who sent the hitman to the safe house? Well, I mean, I don't have to find out, I know. Associates of Salim. I think it's a little bit bigger than that. I think uh, the ghost is behind every play now. So what's our next move? I think we keep doing what we were doing until things got interesting. We follow the money. Well, the diamonds in this case. I saw Salim giving a clutch of diamonds to a cutout man. They were the size of dimes. Why diamonds? I mean, why not just cash? Well, I did the calculations. If those were investment-grade diamonds, at 20 carats a pop, he had 200 million easy in his pocket. Bank transfers, then. See, the thing of it is, they're untraceable. Somebody could just take a small clutch of diamonds, walk into any dealer, and walk out with a big, big suitcase full of cash. Here's what we're gonna do. In order to find out what Salim was paying for, we gotta trace his moves backwards. 
We gotta check out the parking structure and uh, see if there's anything that was missed. We went off over there, Watson. Thanks, Sherlock. Cops have been all over that place, but take it from me, cops can get sloppy. I guarantee there's something they missed. Johnny! Check it out. We're gonna find that every place Salim's bird landed before and after to deliver them the airfield. The limo driver who picked up Salim took him to a local Hawala. It's a money lending place. We're out of an old scrapyard. All right, come on back. Yeah, Roger that. I'm just gotta drop something off first. See ya. Okay, so the money lending op that the boys got out of the chopper pilot. It's off the books, caters to Middle Eastern and Indian clientele, run out of a scrapyard. That's not the part that surprises me. What surprises me is that Salim and Sadich have been seen in that area repeatedly. I'm looking to see if there's anything that connects the two. Yeah. I cleared the interference around Sarich's tracking device around the same time Salim came into town. Working backwards, he was at the scrapyard same time as Salim. Ben. Still analyzing the data. All right, well, let me know as soon as you find something, and I'll send the boys over to Hawala, see if they can shake something loose. My buddy here just need to ask a couple questions, if that's cool. Yeah, I'm restoring a modified Highland Green 1968 Mustang, 390 GT Fastback. It's a spitting image of Steve McQueen's ride from Bullet. Noticed you had a four-barrel carb out back. How much? I'm negotiating right now. Dude, how many mechanics do you know wear $3,000 loafers to work? Take it. Come on. Good talk. Closed. So sorry. It's in the case, your lunch money?
Bring him. Come on. Come on. What's the safest place for you to get strong? I'm good, boss. Really. Yeah, well, let me be the one to judge whether you're good or not. A few more weeks, we'll get you into the field. I'm thinking of bringing her into the field soon. Yeah, she's smart. She's got a lot more going on than she seems, but you know that. Well, that's kind of why I want you to bring her up to speed and make sure she knows the score, because if stuff goes sideways, she might end up on her own. questions and if you don't answer me your new pal here is gonna drop this engine block on you you read my mail good now who's that man Abdul Hassan! Abdul Hassan! <laughs> that was easy all right good next question now what was in that case he was running off with I don't know. he doesn't know <laughs> this is what happens when you lie to us you want to try that again yes Yes! <laughs> we received a payment a few days ago, a Pakistani. That would be Salim. Yes, yes, Salim, Salim. He, he brought diamonds. We thought you were here to steal them. That's the truth, I swear. What kind of value are we talking about here? Okay, wait, 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 please, please, no, no, no. Like this, large bag, over 300 stuff. That's 20 carats each? It's two million per if Sarah's right. Street value of over six hundred and fifty million dollars. That's a lot of coin. Abdul Hassan. He's a uh, Egyptian national. Educated in the U.S., heavily connected to uh, the Muslim Brotherhood, Hamas, Pakistani ISI, very, very heavily connected to Iran. The company's been tracking him for years. He's holed up in Yemen. We have no intel that he left. Well, I think you should get new intel because he's here now in Seattle. You sure? What for? To meet Salim Aboud. See, after the girls got smuggled off the Viking moon in Vancouver, Finch found another vessel that was leaving there immediately afterwards. A few days later, the crew was exterminated. Why? Well, in my opinion, so that nobody could talk about the cargo on the Viking moon. And what was that cargo? A few days after that, Salim Aboud arrives and transports $650 million worth of diamonds, hands them to Abdul Hassan. $650 million. Buy your lot these days. I would say a large portion of that would go nicely for a nuke. In my opinion, they're probably one of the suitcase nukes, you know. Is there any proof? I just don't think anything else makes sense. There's only one reason why a guy like Hassan would expose himself on US soil like this. He's one of the biggest players in the world. But the payoff is worth the risk, in his opinion, you know. And he looks at this as a sort of a one time deal, all or nothing. He doesn't trust anybody except for the biggest players that he's got close to him. I think they're probably going to try to uh, blow a nuke right in our backyard. Well, if what you're saying is true, then I'm going to need some other agencies on board. I don't think the bomb's operational yet. I think he's uh, transporting it for assembly. Somewhere nearby, probably. And really, the only way to stop them is to make them believe that they're going to pull it off. See, the thing of it is, I don't need the cavalry, man. Well, I should hope not. I need my team. I need you to find me one of the best experts from the Sodom teams. And he'll help us 
understand the exact workings of uh, the suitcase nukes. I'll do the rest. What do you got for me, Sarge? Only other place Sarge went besides the scrapyard was a whorehouse outside the city. Well, that makes sense. Maybe we should pay it a visit. Sir, are you getting an output reading? Yeah, background radiation only. Any sort of reading at all, you let me know. Because the material may or may not be there. If somebody's handling it, it's going to light up my meters just the same, so. OK, copy that. I'm on my way in. OK, the madam's name is Genevieve Duran. She used to work at the penthouse on Broadmoor near Pier 39. Got it. So familiar, and I never forget a handsome face. Was that your way of saying you don't remember me? Because I remember you. Yeah, you know that place over Pier 39, we had a lot of real beautiful girls. I thought you looked familiar. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if you like those girls, you're gonna love these ones. Care of you. You're about to spoil up. Mmm, right this way. How are the readings? Uh, nothing. Hello. This must be my lucky day. You have too many clothes on, though. Why don't you get more comfortable and come and join me in the tub? All three of us? Definitely. All right, that sounds like a lot of fun. Uh, we just got a hit. Stand by. It's passing you now. I'll be right back. I gotta go. He's spiking hot. Really hot. He's either been handling or he's been with someone who's been handling radioactive materials. Be in touch. I'm gonna squeeze this guy, see what he can tell us. Okay, standing by. Salam alaikum, Habib. Marhaptain. Wa alaikum salam. Shandak hena. I'm here to talk to you. Let's talk. Talk to me. You won't. You sure? Over here. Commander of the last Halo Special Atomic Demolition Munition Team in the government. So, uh, you bring the rest of your guys with you today, or...? And they're on standby in the event that we recover the weapon. As you know, uh, most of the SATAM teams were disbanded several years ago. I was one of the guys that, uh, trained with a mock-up and I was certified with it each year. I jumped with it Halo and Static, so I know my way around the uh, device pretty reasonably well. Uh, you know, I may be able to be of some assistance to you. When it comes to suitcase nukes, Snow's the man you want to know. Well, I know that the Saddam teams um, track and retrieve and destroy the nuclear devices. 
The million dollar question is we need to kind of find out from you what's floating around. More than anything, we need to know exactly what we're looking for. So you think you may have a device? The one thing we do have is a money trail that leads to a certain terrorist that I think you know. His name is Abdul Hassan. Hassan. You know him? Yeah. Well, then you know that he's been working around this kind of thing for a long time, right? Well, we've known for close to 20 years that a dozen Soviet suitcase nukes went missing from what's now Tajikistan. We've been looking for them ever since. Now, these are are confirmed devices that went missing from inventory. They're not stories or rumors, but confirmed munitions with no shelf life. Our recent intel has told us that someone's brokered a deal and that one of these devices is back in play. Maybe it's your ghost. Abdul Hassan wasn't mentioned by name, but he did take a trip from Yemen to Tajik about a year ago. All right, if we have a nuke in play, does that mean the ghost sold it to him? It's possible, right? Then we need to change the mission objective. We got into this to get the ghost. It's clearly Hassan is our high-level target now. Negative. Hassan, the bomb, Sadich, they all still lead to Edelon. I think it's best if I take charge of this and determine the mission objectives and we can all work together. We're at your service. So Intel thinks that the ghost just sold the small nuclear device to Hassan. I really don't agree. I think that Hassan is not getting the bomb. I think he's delivering the bomb. And I think he's delivering to Adelon. Adelon's running the operation. It's his attack. Why? Well, it's uh, for one or two reasons. One, he wants to make a statement, or he wants to kill a lot of people to make a statement. It's Adelon that we got to stop that for sure. We're good to go, boss. So the brothel, as you guys know, is run by members of the Albanian Mafia. And I feel quite sure that the ghost has had his hand in setting that whole thing up. I got a funny feeling about that place. And if I was a betting man, I would say that there are several hidden rooms in there where they're able to take high-level meetings with high-level terrorists. The only place I couldn't scan was the basement, and I'm going to put Johnny and Sims on that. I hope he's the right size. Sarich is on the move. You guys hurry, you can get there before he does. Let's move. Thought I'd say this, but you're looking a little nervous there, Johnny boy. Finch, you got me? Loud and clear. Well, that's funny, because I was going to say you look a little more eager than usual. Well, why not, huh? Usually I'm getting bashed in the head by a bunch of sweaty dudes. It'd be nice to be punched in the face by a hot chick for once. <laughs> well, just don't forget about the loose nuke. Oh, that's the fun part. Hot chicks are the bonus. Just don't get too distracted, OK? Johnny, lovers are distracting, not call girls. I'm serious, man. That is my kind of relationship. I mean, hey, you know the best thing about a call girl is? In the morning, they get up and leave. Wow. Guys, Sarah's is right on top of you now. just arrived. We're going in. Okay, we got you fixed. Johnny, see if you can get as close as you can to the access point in the basement. Sir, I watch those radiation readouts.
Idiots just called. Want their shirt back. What? What are you talking about? It's my lucky shirt, man. So how does Serge fit into the picture? After our little encounter with him uh, in Vancouver, he was sent to Dover on the CIA flight. Then he went on to the Armed Forces Institute of Pathology in Bethesda for a more detailed interrogation. Why did the CIA agree to spring him? The only reason why Satish was allowed to go is because he's been feeding and talking both sides. He's a double. He's a double, but he's not just any double. Yeah, he works for Marcus. So how long have you worked here? You are a bad man, do you know that? Yeah, well, that rumor has it. To answer your question, yes, and no. Well, that, that question was a multiple choice. It is when I do it. Come on, guys, you won't get a reading off her. Keep moving. Hi. How you doing? Oh, wait, 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 wait. We just got a reading that's off the charts. Get to the basement now. It's Hassan for sure. The device is on the premises. I'm gonna get in there now. Evening, gentlemen. Oh, thank you. The hidden rooms down the stairway, main hallway. Picked a hell of a time to make the delivery. I'm sorry. We're taking fire. On my way. Oh, see, went that way. Take him out. I've got a Hassan and Sadich. Come on, come on.
Kane, Song got away. We lost the special. to warm up the yellow fin. Sarah, wait. I want to do more. Mm -hmm. I'm serious. Do you understand what you're asking? If you have to go into the field, you'll be expected to do anything to get the job done. So if there is even a shred of doubt in your mind, Kane will know. And more importantly, someone could get killed. So think about it. Shooting is you have to feel it. You almost develop a sixth sense. You really have to become one with your gun, one with the target. But every time you take somebody out, every kill is a different feel. Taking info as it comes in. I know the market says his own agenda. The company always has an agenda that they don't tell you about, so you always have to really be on your toes and be ready for anything. But this target we're after, this ghost, it's well protected. It's probably gonna be hard to get to him, so you're gonna have to take one hell of a long shot, right? I don't mean any disrespect, boss, but what if you miss? This ain't my first barbecue. I don't think I'll miss. being ready when the shot presents itself. Let's pick this up and head back to town. unable to deliver the product. With Sarge's unfortunate departure, the timeline is now in doubt. What do you think about what happened in Port Said? His football rights are a travesty. 70 people dead? I blame the government. You see? He's right. 
Government doesn't know what's really happening outside their walls. Shukran. We have to deliver the product soon. Or the window will close. What about Elijah Kane? Twice we've tried to eliminate him, and yet he's now coming after us. He has an agenda. And he has a team and resources. Got it set up. Yeah, the place smells good, man. Fast missions, crystal clear. Why don't you get out of that ridiculous costume and uh, hook up with Snowy into the trail? This is true. But ask yourself this: Why isn't the city crawling with military, or FBI, or Homeland Security? Hmm? I'll tell you. Elijah Kane is off book. Black Ops. Better for us. I'm not so sure. Means he has a free hand. There's no way we can shut down his operation. Then what? We simply continue as planned. Granted, Kane is hard to kill. So is the ghost. And in the end, He's just a man. We have to get it done. Sarge was only the messenger. He didn't speak for Eidolon. I'll contact Eidolon myself. Yeah, Keen told me you grew up on the res in Arizona. Your dad was a border agent. I tell you my father was killed in the line of duty? Mm-hmm. And he didn't have to tell you what happened to me, his only daughter, growing up as a teenager on the res and orphan. I'm gonna go out there today, and I'm gonna do my part as a member of this team. What I'm not gonna do is explain why I want to be a part of the team. I'm just looking out for you as a part of the team. Whatever I have to do today, I've done before, Sarah. Thanks for looking out for me. Don't worry, I can do this. Good luck, kid. my hotel. Isn't that how you got into trouble in the first place? Yeah, maybe. But I get a different feeling off of you. Come on. What are you doing? No distractions, my son. This is too important. Know your place. Don't ever presume to tell me what to do. Again. She will hear about this. No, he won't. It's okay. Come on. It's okay. 
I'll get you to your hotel. Please, let me get the door. Thanks. It's okay. All right, Sims, the guy you left behind is on to something. He's calling up the food chain. If that call goes through, we're going to have to completely abort the mission. I'll catch up to you. tracking window. It's always running in the background. You just need to pop it up. Finch and Kane are both on their way to you and will be there in a minute. Okay, got it. I think. Oh, you don't need to worry about it. It's idiot proof. Alright, I am. I think I liked you better on morphine. What about when Finch pairs his phone? Finch is already online. When she pairs, a uh, dialogue box will pop up. You just need to click on it. You don't... Don't worry, I believe in you. Of course you do. Oh, we put multiple microphones in the hallway and the room. Uh, Finch's phone is also set up as a transmitting microphone. And it's all fed through a single stream, so you're gonna hear everything all at once, and it takes a few minutes to get used to. Well, I wish I was out there with you. Well, don't worry, I'll break some bones for you. Sarah, you know you were lucky, right? You should have died out there. Uh, yeah, yeah, I know. But I didn't. Hang in there. Good luck. As soon as I'm on my way, I'll see you in five. Thank you, Abdul. I don't know what I would have done. It was nothing. My pleasure. Are you sure you're gonna be okay? I need a drink. Me too. Well, I got a nice bottle of wine. Sounds good. Sims. Finch is in the room. She's doing well. Thanks to this operation, we know that Hassan has the ability to contact the ghost directly. Well, if you had possession of my nuke, I'd take your call too. So Hassan's our target. It's not that easy. The ghost is pulling all the strings. What that means is he's dangling Hassan in front of me, hoping I'll take the bait. So what's the play, boss? Well, unfortunately, that's going to be dictated by Finch now. I'm going call. Mike is picking up the bodyguard in the corridor. What? You have a problem. What kind of problem? Hassan, there was a situation outside the restaurant. Uh, pretty girl. She's with him now. I recognize that voice. That's one of the guys who was with Hassan in the restaurant. I'm on my way. Where are you? Should we pull her out? No, keep your ears on. And we'll go in on my call. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm supposed to be at work. Excuse me. Free! 
so sorry. It's two seconds, I promise. Bree! Beer! Bree! Yes, I heard you do it the first time. Then answer the first time. Bashir's been lighting up my phone since we arrived. You wouldn't know anything about that, would you? No, sir, no idea. Would you like me to connect you with him? No. Tell him everything's OK. I'll call him later. Much later. Unfortunately, yes. It's a pneumonia. Mock up of a lighting device. Looks like a modified garbage can to me. <laughs> well, it looks can be deceiving. I mean, basically, it's a it's a booby trap, a sealed booby trap that protects whatever's locked inside. You have to open the thing up in a specific order and do specific actions. Otherwise, boom, boom. Soviets built them to use at dead drop sites throughout the United States to protect munitions. It's a dead drop site? Mm. Basically, it's a, just a site that an agent can leave an item for another agent. In this case, we're talking about a suitcase nuke. So how does one of these garbage cans protect a suitcase nuke? <laughs> well, like I said, you open this thing up, you blow up, right? So here's a little lesson. A normal explosion can't trigger a nuclear reaction. A shock wave has to be a perfect sphere traveling inward towards the center of the device. Anything less than a perfect sphere, the nuke won't go off. It's moon. You take a suitcase nuke, you put it in one of these, you leave it at a dead drop site. Wrong guy comes along, opens the thing up, boom, everything's destroyed. But here's the catch. The charge isn't spherical, so the nuke doesn't detonate. It's a fail safe. OK, so if Hassan has one of these nukes, he's got one of these, why not just stash it where you want it to explode? Wait. Well, he may be concerned that someone might find it before he's ready. Also, the arming device is always kept separate from the nuke itself, so we don't even know if he has one yet. What kind of damage can one of these do? Well, it's not a full yield nuke, probably half a kiloton. But, you know, it's enough to take out a good chunk of New York or DC permanently. Aren't you just an encyclopedia of great news? <laughs> I gotta bounce. Finch will have the target isolated soon. All right, well, call me when you need me. Yeah, we will. We'll do the heavy lifting and keep working on your garbage can. Anything I wanted, I got. But what I really wanted was to get away. So I rebelled, and here I am. But I guess it could have worked out worse. Unbelievable. Turn it off. Come on, I told you I'm supposed to be at work. <laughs> hey, come on now. That's my phone. You promised to turn it off? You want it? Come and get it. You understand what a man hears. And you say these things to him? Why do you think we say these things? It's the same number over and over. It's your wife, isn't it? I told you it's work. Oh, well, then you won't mind if I call him back and tell him to stop. Hey, turn it off.
Just give me a second to call him back. Then I'm yours. Call on the phone. We're set. Dad, am I in the phone now? Hassan, what the hell are you doing? Relax, Bashir. You're the one who's out of line. You think this Bashir will lead us to the ghost? Nah. He's worried that Hassan will get sloppy. Get rid of the girl. You know nothing of her. The rescue of putting this operation in is... You call me on an unsecured cell and talk to me about risk? Idiot. If Edlins finds out... Shut up. I'm on my way. This will end. It ends when he tells us it ends. So until I speak to him, don't call me again. Ninety percent downloaded. He hasn't called the Iran yet, but this Bashir is going to be a big problem. Let me tell you. All right, Johnny, you with us yet? Yeah, I just pulled in. I keep your eyes on the perimeter. Sorry, my friend, but the time I'm working from, he will be himself. I got more business in the hallway. You know what we have to do. Hassan won't be happy. Hassan is happy making a mess. It's our job to clean it up. Now? Yeah, back up, reset to the street. I'll take care of Finch. You guys wait for my signal. Johnny, Sims is coming your way. We are all. belongs to you? I think you're acting like a fool. My job is to make sure you don't screw things up. I don't report to you. Oh, what's going on? I didn't do anything. Maybe you're in the wrong place at the wrong time. Too bad for you. That should be my line.
What happened? Where's Bashir? I don't know. They were gonna kill me. They started fighting and then they started shooting. I just took off. You have to get me shut out of up! Here. You hear me? Just shut up, whoever the hell you are. I'm not gonna shut up. This is messed up. First I get mugged and now this? Oh, you are a strange woman. Look, okay, so I wasn't totally straight with you. My boyfriend is a player in the Mexican Mafia. He's the one who booted me from the car. We had a fight. I didn't want you to get scared off. He'd skin you alive if he knew I was here. Never change your story, darling. Makes people think you're lying about everything. I'm not lying about anything. Look, I just want to go. Do you think we should go before the cops get here? And why would the cops be coming? Because your stupid friends were shooting at each other. Then let's take a ride. All right, Sims Johnny, we're good to go. They'll be out of the garage in a few seconds. Hit them on the ramp. Showtime. You have a gun? For protection. Come on, you've been shot. I'll drive. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. That's my boyfriend. He's crazy. What are you doing? Where are you going? To get you taken care of. No hospital. You've been shot. No hospital. Okay. Okay. Where then? The Walla. I'll show you. Drive. Go. Never been shot before? Uh, yeah, just never sent your mass. You all right? Yeah. Yeah, I'll track Finch and let you know where to meet me. You go pick up snow, get ready to reset. Looks like they're headed for the Huala. I'm almost there. Son just made the call. Whoever you contact is going to be the direct connection to Avon. It's a personal courier. They'll be on the way. Boss, he just called the brothel. You sure? 100%. And something else. It looks like he's transmitted his location. He'll be alerting his boys. We've got to be ready.
Hey, stay with me. <laughs> Hassan's associates are going to figure out what's going on. They're going to be coming for him, that's for sure. The thing it is, Hassan's got to figure out a way to deliver the device to the ghost. If he thinks he's going to die, that's exactly what he's going to do. It'll lead us to the bomb and the alarm. You need a doctor. No, no. It's too dangerous here. I got a visual. He's heading your way. All right, Johnny Sims. Take the south and east access. Take him out in the snow. Keep tabs on the west. Don't let anybody through. You got it. Johnny Sims, they got Finch. I'm gonna kill every one of these guys with great pleasure.
wrap it up. Marcus, what happened? She's been shot. She's a son's contact. Snow the nukes in the trunk. Same said, Rep. Madam's been shot, boss. She's dead. You got here quick. We got it. Snow, you better get this thing out of here right quick. Police are gonna be coming. Copy that. All right, man. Chalk one up for the good guys, huh? The Sodom team has protocol for disposal and uh, thanks, King. You saved my ass again. Still know who the good guys are? I am Mino Turley. You're going to make me stand here for 60 seconds. Shut up. Your loss. This is trigger unit. Are you ready? Yeah. The serial number is 
1-800-196-331-177-086-3311. You sure you got those numbers right? I need visual confirmation for verification. It matches. The purpose of a protocol is to ensure uniformity along the preferred line of action. I'm crazy about big words. I'm crazy about women, too, but I don't understand them either. Verify the goddamn serial number. Do you know how many phone numbers I have in my head? 3,860. The serial number is 104-296-331-177-086-3311. The last three numbers are most important. 311. They have to match the Molnia NC device. 311, not 310. If they don't, then we're out of business. You worry about your end, I'll worry about mine. Next time I see you, I'll give you the activation codes for the trigger and the Molnia device once. And then I'm gonna wipe my hands clean. Just like this. So you better be ready for it. You better be ready for Kane. I'm not worried about Kane. You can contact me using this phone. Only this phone. It has fail-safe number. Use as last resort. If everything gets effed up, you can connect to the man himself. You won't see me again until I give you those codes. You're about to die.